They call me warrior. They call me loyalty. All right, so now we're going to show you another contingency of what to do when the attacker starts to punch your ribs from that hair grab position that uh, Melissa already defeated already and pulls my head to the side and knows how to get out of. But if I start to go for her ribs, again, I'm 190 pounds, Melissa's 100 pounds when we tie weights to her, okay? Uh, she can't take too many of these hits to her ribs. And I don't want her to take any hits to the ribs at all. So she's going to learn how to defeat that from that same position if I happen to start punching her in the side. So we're going to start. She's caged. All right. I have her head grabbed. I'm pulling her in. I'm throwing punches and elbows. She's going to throw her legs past me, right? Give me that closed guard, okay? She's going to rock me backwards first, push me backwards, bring me forwards. Right, throw me onto those elbows. If she throws me onto those elbows, she's now going to wrap my head and break down my arm at the same time. She's using her elbow and my elbow crease, wrapping the back, grabbing my ear, trying to get her elbow all the way down to the ground. So now my this hand is kind of taken out of out of context. I can't get to her, I can't get to her head. But what I can do is rip this out and start punishing her rib cage. And again, I'm so much bigger and stronger than her. She's not going to take very many of those before she can no longer hold me in this position. So, it's here. If she feels me reach back, boom. She's going to throw her knee up, okay, to catch this punch. If she feels me reach back to do that. Her hand is now going to collapse on the back of my tricep, okay, and she's going to push her shin into the crease of my elbow and give me some pressure right there. Okay, now this is very hard to get my arm back. Now my arm is literally her arm. That's what I want her to think, okay? Uh, she owns this arm now, okay? The thing though is she lost that head pressure from pulling my head to the side. So my other arm that she had trapped is no longer trapped the same way. And trust me, once I go like, oh, I can't get this arm back easily, I'm gonna rip this arm out and now come in for that punch. When I come in for this punch, she's going to make that knee to elbow connection on the side and intercept that punch. She wants to intercept it with her knee. Boom. Now, she's gonna close the gate on the back of my tricep right there. Okay, now she's got both my arms. And it actually feels pretty weird for me to try to punch or hit her. Her heels are gonna come to my hips. Okay, as her heels come to my hips, all right, I'm gonna try to get to her, right? And again, she's not gonna see how long she can control me. All right, she's gonna do this with the intent of causing me damage. So now, to get her legs involved, she's gonna extend her legs out like a leg press, and let her hands slide down my forearms to where she can control my wrists. Again, I'm gonna be stronger than her here, I'll eventually be able to rip out of these wrists, but what she's doing is she's now coming and up kicking me. Boom, in the throat, and the chest, and the jaw, and the face, it, until I'm unconscious, or damaged enough that she can now let go of my wrist, get back to her base position, get up and out. Some people will say, well, hey, Randy, what if, uh, what if that person starts to stand from that position? Well, she can still do the same thing. So, we got to here. She's got my head wrapped already. Boom, okay. She's got my arm wrapped. I start to punish here. She's gonna throw that knee up. She's gonna grab the back of my tricep, okay? That's stuck. Oh, I'm going to rip this arm out. She's going to catch it. Boom. Collapse on the back of my tricep. Boom. We're here. I'm trying to get her. I'm like, oh, I can't get her. So now I'm just going to stand up. So I'm going to stand up. She's going to start pushing me out. Cool. We're here. Well, guess what? She can still now up kick my face and my jaw and all of this. Okay? Until she can cause me damage, eventually let go to get up and out. Again, I'm not going to still be standing here if she's kicking me in the groin, kicking me in the throat, kicking me in the face, kicking me in the chest. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be covering up trying to get away from her. She's gonna be changing my mind from the attacker to now the defender while she's getting out, up, and away. All right.
<laughs> you feel like you're in a fire. Yes. <laughs> All right, hey ladies, uh, this is our series from the guard. In the guard, we learned how to stand up from base. We learned how to kick from the base position. We learned how to frame from the base position. And basically, we really just learned how to, how to break fall, get back to a base position, get out, up, and away. And then we went on into the guard position. From the guard, we learned what to do from disrobing. We learned what to do from a choke. We learned what to do from a smother. We learned what to do from punches. And then punches if they grab our hair. Punches if they, uh, they grab our hair, we throw them on top of us. We pull their head to the side and they start to go for our ribs. So I hope you enjoyed our whole guard series. I also want you to know that Melissa is not one of my normal students. She, she just learned all of this stuff right before we filmed it. So she's not somebody that's been doing this stuff for years. She literally just learned it. All of you guys can learn it. You can see what it looks like closer to, uh, to full speed now on the videos. Again, they're not always uh, textbook perfect because they're not gonna look textbook perfect in the fray. So just fight back. Use hammer fists and elbows to create space to get your, your hips involved to get your legs involved, which are the strongest part of your body, so you can escape, so you can survive, so you can get out, up, and away. All right? Remember, always refuse to be a victim, and victory favors the prepared. I hope you enjoyed this video series by American Warrior Combatives. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Thank you.